Kushukuru, ninasema unastaili heshima yote. Unastaili kuinuliwa baba. Jehova. Unastaili kuinuliwa Mungu wangu. Unastaili kuabudiwa. Jehova. Una staili kuheshimiwa I thank you dear Lord for divine authority in your word Your word is exalted above all your names and your word is forever established in heaven you're watching over your word to see it established and come to pass in our lives Lord And I know Lord that you will show up in my life. You will show up in my situation. You will show up in everything that I'm going through. You will show up oh God all around me. You will show up because it is in your word, Lord. It is in your promises, Lord. I thank you Jehovah God for you have strategically placed people to be of help to me and to look unto me favorably. Thank you for my destiny help us are going to remember me. And they are going to remember the promises of God. Thank you dear Lord for every closed door of blessing shall be opened upon my life. Even as I continue to believe in you, as I continue to walk with you, as I continue to wait on you, as I continue to look up to you Jesus. As I continue in you Jesus. Thank you for salvation. That you saved me. That you saved me. That you transformed me. That you've walked with me. That you've looked unto me Lord. That you've taken over in my life. I give you all the glory and all the praise. I thank you because every secret tear that I've shed shall turn into joy, oh God. I thank you because every limitation in my life is going to be broken. Even as I continue to wait on you, as I continue to worship you, as I continue to call unto you, Jesus. I thank you because every pity shall turn into envy in my life, oh God. And people will congratulate me instead of looking down at me. Instead of looking at me with pity, they shall congratulate me. I affirm your word, I affirm your promises, I affirm it tonight, this day, this afternoon, this morning, I affirm your word in my life, oh God. You are going to bless every single person around me. And I'm going to ooze out your blessings wherever I go. I'm going to ooze out your blessings, oh God. I will be a well of blessings to the people that I come across. I will be a blessing to them. You are turning around my life, oh God, and out of me, Jehovah God, there shall flow rivers of living waters. Even to be a blessing to the nations, to be a blessing to everybody else, oh God. I give you praise. As you turn me and as you make me into a blessing, Every single person around me shall be blessed. And every eligible single person that I know will receive their marriage proposals because out of me shall flow rivers of living waters. Whenever I come across them Lord, may you bless them. Bless them oh God. I know that you are opening up the wombs of every fruitless person. Every person 
that is barren, you are opening up their wombs, even as we come across them, even as we rub shoulders, because you're creating me to be a blessing to the nations and to the people that are around me. This I speak in confidence because I believe in your word. I know that every jobless person, any person that is looking for a job, they will get their dream jobs. Even as they pray this prayer, even as they listen to this, and even as we come into contact, because you are a God of all blessings. I thank you. Because I know that you will crown my life with all round favor. I know the God that I serve will crown my life with favor. And every prayer that I make shall come to pass. Every prayer, every request that I put forth to you will be answered according to your word, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And as I continue to serve you, as I continue to wait on you, Lord, every poverty in my life is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness and disease in my life and in the lives of those that are around me are getting healed according to your word in the mighty and everlasting name of Jesus. No more failure. No more failure to the people that I come across. No more failure in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to succeed. There will be no disappointments in my life. There will be no more disappointments in the lives of my loved ones. There will be no more disappointments in the lives of the people that I come across. Every backwardness is broken. As we continue to serve you, as we look up to you, Jesus. As we continue to worship you, oh God. And every marital frustration is coming to an end. Frustrations in marriages frustrations in relationships of the people that are around me are coming to an end. This is the affirmation and this is the declaration and this is the confidence that I have in your word. Every stagnation, every long-term stagnation is going to be broken. People that have stagnated in one place for the longest time possible you're going to move them forth because the spirit of limitation is broken in the name of Jesus. You are doing a new thing, oh God. You are doing that which only you can do. Your children are moving forward. You are carrying us forth in your favor. And your progress is coming upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Every ancestral problems are coming to an end. And generational curses are coming to an end. Every ups and downs in our lives and in the lives of the people around me are coming to an end. And I say enough is enough. For every miscarriage in my life, enough is enough. For every stagnation in my life, enough is enough. For every discouragement around me in the name of Jesus. Barrenness in my life and in the lives of my loved ones is broken. And I know that I am a new creation. I belong to the family of God. And I declare instant deliverance in my life this day in the name of Jesus. Every forces that are pulling me down. Forces that are pulling me backward. Forces that are pulling me backward. I declare them destroyed in the name of Jesus. And every repeated family patterns in my life are coming to an end. Evil patterns of poverty are coming to an end. I know that I will not suffer for the sins of my father or for the sins of my ancestors. In the name of Jesus, because I am a new creation. As your word says that behold, the old is gone and the new has come. I disconnect myself from every evil covenant that were made by my parents. I disconnect myself from every evil covenant that were made by my, by my step parents. I disconnect myself from every evil covenant that were made by my in-laws, my parents-in-law, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil covenant that were made at birth, 
Every evil covenant that were made through initiations. Every evil covenant that were made through any kind of regalia. I disconnect myself from them. In the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare deliverance from every evil dedication. That was done in my life from childhood. In the name of Jesus. Every form of dedication to evil altars. That was made at birth. I deliver myself from them. I disconnect and I dissociate from them. In the mighty and everlasting name of Jesus. Because I affirm this day. That I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And every gifting that I have I will use it. To bless the name of the Lord. Every talent that God has given me and put in me. Shall be used to encourage. Shall be used to empower others. And lead them to the saving grace of Jesus Christ. I dedicate my gifts to the service of God. I dedicate my talents to the service of God. And I decree and declare that I am blessed and highly favored of the Lord. I will abide in the presence of God and this everlasting peace shall continually be my portion. I am more than a conqueror and victory is mine for the rest of my life. I declare this day that victory is mine for the rest of my life. Victory is the portion of my children. Victory is the portion of my family members. Victory is the portion of the people that I come across for the rest of our lives in the name of Jesus. Because I have divine strategy, I will overcome every obstacle. I will overcome every challenge. I am strong in the Lord and in the power of his might according to the word of God. And I am seated in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And because of my position in him, I am far from the rudder and the attacks of the enemy in the name of Jesus. I am success oriented and I am everything that God has promised that I will be. Whatever things I touch will be increased and will bring blessings in my life and in the lives of the people that are around me. I am led of the Spirit of God. I affirm this day. And I shall be led of the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit. I want to command everything to align itself. And to cooperate with God's plan. And purposes in my life. May the blessings of the Lord flow in my life unhindered. I shall not be denied wherever I go. I shall not be denied. The blessings that are supposed to be mine. Every portal of heaven. To open unmerited favor and grace in my life. May I walk in open heavens. Wherever I go. I will be a moving testimony. I will be a moving altar. Even a prayer altar. Oozing out the blessings and the grace of God. And I am equipped with the right resources to fulfill my assignment in God's kingdom. May the will of God be superimposed over the will of evil spirits and evil men that have ganged up against me. I dismantle every evil powers, powers that are working against me, powers that are working against my assignments, powers that are working against my activities, powers that are working against my achievements. I dismantle in the mighty and everlasting name of Jesus. And now I pray that every past generosity of mine shall be remembered. Whoever I showed favor will remember. Whoever I was generous to will remember. And every impossible situation in my life will be turned around on account of my past generosity in the name of Jesus. And just as famine elevated Joseph, oh God, help me to see the opportunities around me that I may be elevated. Impossible opportunities and impossible situations and circumstances will bring elevation in my life. I know that I am endowed with the required mental skills 
and I will interpret opportunities correctly and take maximum advantage of opportunities, circumstances that come along my way. And whenever the needy will need my help, I will open up my pass and my pass will never be empty even to give and to give and to give because your word says that blessed is him who gives than the one who receives. May I be a giver. The prophetic power that operated in the valley of dry bones I decree and declare that it will reunite me with my lost glory. It will reunite me with my lost helpers. It will reunite me with my family. It will reunite me with my joy. It will reunite me with my children. Every dry bone in my life, every dry bone around me is coming back to life in the name of Jesus. I speak prophetically to every dry bones that are around me to receive grace to walk, to receive grace of life, to receive breath right now in the mighty and everlasting name of Jesus. Can all attitudes of disobedience and demonic spirits that are promoting barrenness in my life, I command them to be terminated because from today I'm positioned for fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Barrenness is that not the portion of my children. Barrenness is not my portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every carnal attitude of disobedience and demonic spirits that are promoting barrenness in my life, I command them to be terminated in the name of Jesus. Every area of my life will be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And those who gather to frustrate my vision will be bear given to be part of my celebration. They will come to celebrate with me. Because the Bible says he lays a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Oh, every opposition that I encounter will be turned around and it will form a new chapter of success story in my life. The Lord will release a measure of prosperity into my life that will swallow every history of poverty will swallow every history of past disturbances, will swallow every history of past stagnation in the name of Jesus. The Lord is giving me a new name. The Lord is giving me a new identity. I will bury every ugly story that has been in my life. Every ugly story of my background is going to be buried in the name of Jesus. I decree that this is the beginning of my bouncing back. Bouncing back to the original plan of God in my life. My spiritual life shall be restored and every lost glory shall be fully recovered in the name of Jesus. The Lord is endowing me with a spirit of endurance. I will endure every adversity. I will not suffer scarcity of ideas. I will not suffer scarcity of capital. I will not take my things for granted, but I'm going to take everything in my life to the next level in the name of Jesus. My identity will, ca will carry God's presence and my identity will attract God's favor. Wherever I go, I will obtain the favor with God and man. And I know that I am blessed and I am rich. Because the Bible says that Jesus became poor that I may be rich according to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 8 verses number 9. I declare that my entire household shall be saved. My family is blessed with every spiritual blessing. My children shall be mighty on the earth for the generation of the righteous is blessed. I am for signs and wonders. My family is for signs and wonders. My children are for signs and wonders. They will flourish like olive plants. The Lord shall keep my family. The Lord shall keep my children. The Lord shall keep my siblings. The Lord shall keep my loved ones from falling and present us blameless before his throne. I declare that my children will be seekers of wisdom. My children will be seekers of understanding. They will hold fast 
the word of the Lord and they will treasure the commandments of God. I affirm the word of God in my life. I affirm the promises of God in my life. I affirm the declarations of God in my life. I am a blessing and the Lord has blessed me to be a blessing. I will be a dispenser of blessings wherever I go. In the name of Jesus. I thank you Lord. You are preparing me to be a sanctuary that is tried and true, pure and holy. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. I give you praise. I give you glory. May your blessings abound in my ministry, in my life, wherever I go. It is a new level. It is a new level. New grace. For it is you who takes us from glory to glory. It's a new glory, O oh God. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you, Jesus. Inasema unastaili heshima, unastaili kuabudiwa Bwana. Unastaili kuheshimiwa. Unastaili Bwana. Unastaili kuabudiwa Mungu wangu. Unastaili kusujudiwa. Unastaili we. Nina inama, nina kusujudu. Ninainua mikono yangu juu Ninasema unastahili Uastahili we Uastahili we Unastahili katika maisha yangu I give you praise I give you glory in Jesus name